Hi, folks. I'm Erica Del Sordo. Welcome to today's talk with Erica. Thank you so much for subscribing to my YouTube channel. If you haven't done that just yet, go ahead and subscribe, please. And I just made Apple Podcasts so you can find me, today's talk with Erica, on Apple Podcasts as well. Now, today's show includes two South Florida native water babies living in an active outdoor lifestyle. They grew tired of seeing litter scattered across our beautiful beaches. Now, one of the biggest offenders was the iconic red Solo Cup. This led Pirani Life's founder, Brondage A. Pierce, to design the Pirani Party Tumbler, a sustainable Solo Cup to keep your drinks hot or cold and plastic out of our landfills and oceans. Their mission is to help eliminate the 500 billion single-use plastic cups used around the world each year. They encourage their customers to BYOC, bring your own cup, on the go and believe that education is the key to a sustainable future. At Pirani Life, they hashtag party sustainably and encourage others to take small steps on their eco journey each day. Please welcome Danielle Del Sordo and Brandeje Pierce. Oh, did I mention this is my sister? <laughs> Hi, thank guys. You. Hello. Hello. How's it going? Thank you for the introduction. Yes, you're thank you. welcome. You're welcome. It's good to be with you guys. It's good to see you. I know this is um this has been a long time coming because you guys created the when did Prani Life actually become in existence? 2000 July 2018 is our launch of our Kickstarter. Yeah. All so right. almost almost two years ago. Almost two years ago. Okay. And it's done very well. Let's talk about the Kickstarter. You guys, what what was your goal and where did it hit? That's right. So our goal was, I believe, $7,000, 7, yeah. which actually was a, a little under probably what it should have been. Um, and we came in like almost 450% over our initial fundraising goal. Yeah. That's amazing. That's amazing. You guys did really well with that. And we all love our piranhas. Anytime I go for a walk at the lake or, you know, you head to the gym and you want uh, a reusable cup to bring you bring your piranha it's become our regular so talk to me though what there's a there's a clear mission that you have with piranha life and tell me about why you started this why your heart is in it and why your cup is truly the best all right Bronje, take it away well you said it all already <laughs> I was gonna say you in were. our intro <laughs> <laughs> i'm just kidding so, so one of the things that I really think is a big part of our mission, you, you mentioned it, is uh, education and, and creating a mission and a movement that causes people to think differently. So, um, you know, it, there, there's a lot of companies out there that have similar missions, but um, one of the things that we really want is we, we want people to be active in the community and we want people to really think about some of the small things that they can do to make a difference. You guys do a lot of beach cleanups. How many of those do you do in, in a week, in a month? What are you looking at with those? Well, it, it depends. Um, anytime we go to the beach, which used to be before our startup, much more <laughs> regularly um, because we live one block from it, it, you know, you can't step foot on the beach without seeing plastic, without seeing all, all kinds of different trash, both from beach goers and things that are washing up from even other islands as well yeah there there's a perfect example of um what we like to call a party foul um and it's when your solo cup is ending up anywhere else but you know what really you just shouldn't use solo cups to begin with but um yeah it's a big problem here people love going to the beaches but they do not um they're not interested in taking care of they it. They don't want to take care of it. And they don't even like, want to clean up after themselves, let alone. That's so sad. Yeah. And and so we participate um, with local nonprofit organizations down here and cleanups both across Palm Beach, Broward, and Dade County. Um, and they're amazing. We've learned a lot from them. And they pick up hundreds to thousands of pounds a year of trash um, in the community. So we join forces with them for probably about three to four cleanups a year. And then, yeah, just going to the beach on your own every day is like a, a, a little cleanup in itself. Um, there are around 9 million tons of plastic that ends up in our oceans each year. It, I think people just don't realize how much. Another thing people don't realize about their solo cup, which as Bronjie mentioned, we love to educate, is that um, they are not recyclable. I think a lot of people think that you can recycle your solo cups. 
and you cannot recycle your solo cups um, unless you go through a very, very specific program, um, which most people aren't going to do. However, you can dishwash your solo cups. You can put them on the top shelf of the dishwasher. So as much as we're against them, if somehow you have them, at least reuse them. Okay. Uh, and please don't throw them, you know, to the Anywhere. ocean. Yeah. And you can find this all at piranilife.com, just in case anyone's going, well, where do I find these cool cups? It's piranilife.com. Right? It's uh, pirani www.pirani.life. If you go to piranilife.com, it'll redirect to our website as well. Well, that's what I've been doing. <laughs> yeah, it, redir it redirects. Yeah, at least it knows where to find you. All right. I do have more pictures. We can bring those up in um in just a moment. But so, where is he going? <laughs> so I, I asked him to go get a red cup because we uh I, I brought a couple cups on the table here um to chat about, but we didn't <laughs> the initial cup is the is the red cup. So you asked kind of like what are some some features of our cup? So sorry. Oh um, yes, and that's the pick. I'll bring that up while you guys are talking as well. I want to uh, show that picture of your different, um, awesome. your sizes, your, yeah. So we designed it, or excuse me, Branche designed it to look just like the red solo cup. So it's got that glossy feel. Um, it's got different measurement lines, which you can show in a minute. Uh, each measurement line means something different, you know, so you have one ounce, two ounce, five ounce, eight ounce, uh, 12 ounce, and then 16 at the top. And so it's actually really easy to take this cup with you on the go. I know right now during these times, it's a little bit more difficult to get somebody to pour into your cup for you. But still, if you're going to like a, a gas station or um, like a, a takeaway. So, yeah, a, a lot of customers of ours have reached out and have been asking whether or not they will be able to still use their cup if they go anywhere or they use, use their bottle or use anything. And so anytime we go to a restaurant that accepts, you know, the ability to have your product refill, your cup refilled. We always share it in our stories or sometimes we share it on our page. To be honest, the, the way I, I thought about it when I was uh, chatting with them is a lot of places they'll allow you to, basically they'll hand you a plastic cup or they'll hand you a paper cup and then you go fill it at the station. And so I was like, can I just use my own? Because how is me filling my own cup, whether it's a plastic cup that you hand me or my cup that I brought with me, I didn't understand how one would be what better or worse as far as, you know, uh, yeah, the, you know, keeping the things sanitary, I guess. Right. Um, you know what I did find interesting? Uh, stopped at a busy bee along the way somewhere recently, and they've got, you know, the Dunkins to go where you can you can refill your own. And one of the things that it actually said, and this is, of course, because of the coronavirus, it said that they are not allowing you to bring your own reusable cup because of that. And I thought, well, how interesting. You would think that you'd want people to bring their own cup to kind of use. So I didn't understand where they were going with that. But they're trying to eliminate germs is what I, I guess is going on. Yep. Yeah, and it's it's understandable, and we uh, it's definitely something that's changed. Like those pictures that were just brought up of the Starbucks, um, mm -hmm. you know, in all different places. Those were taken from pictures all over the United States that friends had sent to us, and I think it's going to be a while before that can become a norm again. Um, but no matter what, our mission still our our cup stands for this movement of what can you do to live more sustainably you know even if it's not by taking your cup with you maybe you bring a reusable bag to the grocery store maybe um there's so many different maybe you pick up your trash you know don't buy water bottles you know use a reusable water bottle as well and even yeah. today we went to the grocery store and they're not accepting uh, reusable bags at the grocery store. So we've been taking our groceries and putting directly, putting them directly back into the bin and then bagging them at our car, you know, and it takes a little bit of extra time, but there's so, there's so much waste that you create by taking, you know, plastic bags for every little thing. So yeah, that's more or less our mission is to just get, as Branagé mentioned, to get people to think differently. And, and we know that things are, are changing. So we're starting to look at new ways to educate people to make the difference to what, what can you do now? Like we know, we know now is not the same as it was three months ago. So we're trying to 
think of things that can help people live more sustainably. And we're trying to do our best to educate people as well. So that's so true. The coronavirus has changed so many things for so many different people. And that includes you guys. Yep. You know, and that's, yep. And so honestly, I think more people should be purchasing cups especially prawny cups, just because, because of what's going on, you don't want those germs anymore. So why not hand over your own personal cup? And, hey, listen, you don't know if someone at, I don't want to name any names, but you know, any of these coffee places, someone may have just dropped all the cups on the floor. You know what I mean? It's best yeah. to just Absolutely. bring your own cup. <laughs> yep. Um, so what can you do, you know, if someone wants to, I know you personalize the cups as well, right? So what are some of the, the things that you can do with the prawnies? Well, you, <laughs> you brought up an image earlier of beer pong. That was fun. Um, all the different <laughs> things you could do with Prani. So we, one of the biggest things that we never really thought, so we are a small startup and um, I feel like I've been talking so much. Are you sure you don't want us to talk? Yeah. So I don't mind. I don't mind. Um, I'll talk so all day. I'll let you know when we run out of time. <laughs> So, so one of the things that we've done a lot is we, we weren't sure how this was going to happen with the, when we launched the company, but we do a lot of promotional products. So there's like, here's an example of, you know, a promotional product that we work with. The organization is called Sea Shepherd. Uh, That's a co-brand. They, so they sell them and also get donations. This is another one called Bee Charmer. They're up in North Carolina. Like and so, you know, companies, whether it's a retail store or it's a nonprofit, or some of our companies, like there's a medical place down the street and they wanted swag to give away to their customers, but they didn't want it to just be some generic product. They wanted it to be something with a mission, something that you know they're proud to stand behind. Also, when they give their customers, it's not just generic, it's, it's, it's something that they're proud of. Um, and so we really have encouraged, if companies do this, there, there are cheaper alternatives, but one of the things that we've noticed is when you buy a cheaper alternative, often they are products that you won't use every day. And so like we have some products that we got that were promotional products from X, Y, or Z, whatever. And um, they live in our cabinet. Like I don't use them. I never used them before I started Pirani. I still didn't use them. I, I just, they're not like, they're not bad products, you know, they're not, but they're not amazing. And so when you do a promotional or when you work with us in, a, in, that, in that, that magnitude, you know, you can feel confident that your brand is actually going to live on a lot longer because they're going to be seen by however many people use it. And people use it every day, like customers that use these cups. Mm -hmm. what, and I, and I, this isn't just something, I mean, I'm sure that this is partially braggadocious, but people literally <laughs> say that this is the only cup that they use. So, yeah. And I think we forgot to mention what makes, what makes our cups, when you were asking what makes our cups different is, they're not only just like a replica of, you know, that iconic party cup, but they're vacuum insulated. So they keep your drinks hot or cold all day long, especially, you know, coming from South Florida, that's a big deal when you're running errands and you can leave, you know, your cup in the car on like a hot summer day, which is basically year round here. <laughs> and you come back to your car and you still have ice water hours later. Yeah. Um, so that's really beneficial. And then we didn't realize because we designed it as a party cup, um, we're actually happy houring right now. We have a nice little, little quarter <laughs> hours. Um, but you know, it was designed as a party cup and we weren't thinking how many people were going to be using it for coffee. It's, it's, it works perfectly for it, but that's one of the coolest things too, is all of the coffee drinkers out there are really loving our cup as well. Yeah. Coffee and water is what I love it for. And you were saying when you get refills at Starbucks, Dunkin' stores like that, it's a, it's a medium. Is that what they fill it as? So you, so a little secret is one, you get a discount <laughs> for bringing your own cup, but also a little secret about our cups is they are, you know, this is 16 ounces and it looks significantly smaller than that. Um, it put it in your hand because your hands are bigger but it, I think because it's it's you know the length and the width of it or whatever it just looks um a little bit smaller so you can order a small half the time and they're gonna fill it up they're gonna fill it up to the top I've never had them not pour it to the top for me so you always get that little well, pour yeah I can't believe I gave that secret away it's a good secret <laughs> So how many stores is um Pirani in? how many stores do you have the cups in 
right now. Well, Branche could go. So we, um, <laughs> as with most small businesses, coronavirus has affected us pretty heavily. Um, this is a long answer for, I guess, could be a short question, but um, we are currently in about eight or 10 stores, which is not many at all. And the bulk I think of it them, is. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, the big reason it's not a lot more is because we have really set ourselves up so that when we start pushing to get to new stores, it's done perfectly. And so uh, basically in January, we, we kind of were confident and comfortable pushing to more stores. So we invested a ton of money. We got really, really nice point of purchase displays. We hired a sales rep. We by the middle of February, that sales rep pretty much had like 15 new stores signed up. And then by about the 10th of March, all those stores backed out. Um, I think there was one that stayed. So literally 14 out of 15 stores backed out. And we obviously, we weren't upset. We understand right. exactly why. Um, and so things haven't quite recovered yet. We're starting slowly over the past two to three weeks um, to getting more traction and stores are starting to open up and we're starting to approach but we actually haven't approached anyone over the past two to three months because the last thing we want to do is a coffee shop that's on you know the balls of their feet trying to figure out if they're staying in business. We don't want to reach out and be like, hey, do you want to buy our stuff? So we've been really cautious about you know approaching anybody. So um, currently, I think it's in nine. We're in nine stores. Um, depending on what happens, I'm expecting the end of the year we'll be in significantly more. All right. The, oh yeah. We also um, careful not to. So we, we're we're very uh Jerry check Jerry. that out now that that is cool that should come yeah. with every cup I yeah, like that so on it I don't know if you could okay you can read it. yeah Sorry yeah that we have time it takes to read this sentence seventy nine thousand two hundred seventy cups have been thrown away and that's really sad that's really and then on the back let's see if it... oops sorry. Party sustainably and help reduce the 500 billion single-use plastic cups used around the world each year. Yeah. So anyway, so we we got these made and uh, we were pretty excited about them because they came out really really good. So yeah, as soon as the stores open back up, we're we're ready to go. That's really nice. That's very good. So where can give me some links? Where can people find you if they'd like to either purchase a cup, maybe get in touch with you to put you in their coffee shop? What um what would you tell them? Well, um, I would tell them a couple of things. They could either directly email us at info at parani.life, or they can go to our website, which is www.parani.life, or they could call us at 954-547-8850, um, or they can contact us on Instagram or Facebook. Oh my gosh. Or there's, Pinterest there's or so LinkedIn. Much. I do want to mention, I am going to, I'll put all of your links and my links, all these links that we've mentioned, that'll be in the about and info sections of all of my audio podcasts and the YouTube channel. Just so if anyone's going, I can't write that down quick enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm only, I'm only joking because it's, it's funny as a new business owner. You would you don't realize how many forms of communication are out there. And then when you know when you are a new business owner, you end up wearing all the hats yourself. Mm -hmm. And so it's like, wow, you're literally doing customer service on Instagram, Facebook, email, your website, your phone, Twitter, uh, LinkedIn, text, text, messages. text messages. Then you have friends. Oh, I love our friends and our supporters, but then they text message you orders. At um, three in the morning, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. So it's just, it's, it's cool. It's funny. It's like, wow, technology is uh, really prevalent. <laughs> the yep. lines of communication yeah. are vast. So. Yes. Are vast. Well, tell me this. Would you like to add anything else while we're talking about this? Anything else you'd like to add to the discussion? What would you like um, to do? <laughs> sure. I think what? we've covered a lot. We've definitely covered a lot. We certainly have talked about what, you know, Prani Life is, the mission you guys have given a whole lot of good information, but just in case you wanted to add anything else for viewers and listeners to know. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll, I'll jump in and say something. So one, one thing that we like, as we mentioned, you know, we really want to educate people. So if anybody's watching this or listening to this and they have questions about things that they could do, whether it's small things 
big things, we're, we're open, we'll email, we, we're really good with communication. So if you shoot us an email saying, hey, listen, um, you know, I want to start going to town halls, what can I do at town halls? Or, you know, we, we, if it's something to the extent of I want to reach out to local government or state government, we'll help you figure out ways to do that and things that you could say and, and how you could actually benefit. If it's something that's not related to that, you know, it's like, you know, I, I don't really know what I could do, but how can I influence my family to be better or questions about recycling? You know, it's like, can this be recycled and why and where and how we, we've got, we've got a lot of knowledge that we've gained over the past couple of years. And we're parts of a couple different nonprofits that we've done. We've spoken with the, some of the commissioners of Broward County. Um, yeah. There's a lot of information that we have and we're really transparent or, or communicative with people. So if they have questions, if anybody wants to know anything, um, just let us know. I'll, I'll, there's all those different platforms of communication that we discussed. So, yeah. Oh, and um, yep. I just wanted to add with what's up on the screen right now. Uh, one final thing is part of our mission is also to give back. And so um, we created this contribute sustainably program so that, so the nonprofits that we volunteered our time with, you know, the first like year that we were in business, <laughs> we also wanted to give back to them. And right now it's really difficult for these organizations to co-brand and meet our minimum requirements. So we wanted to give them a space where we sell their tumblers with their logo on it. So like, for instance, this is Sea Shepherd's logo. Um, they're a very large nonprofit organization that's been around for over 40 years, um, protecting the oceans and wildlife. And every organization, um, they're our featured one for the month, but every organization is environmental and taking care of our planet and um they're all 501c3s as well and so. so what we do is we yeah sorry and so we uh laser engrave their logo and then we donate a hundred percent profit back to those organizations so they're it's kind of like a fundraising platform for them they don't really have to take any risk um so anybody who wants to give back could also purchase one of those that's good no that's good to know though i'm glad that you added that very good to know all right. Well, thank you guys very much. I can't thank you enough. My sister, Danielle Del Sordo, and her fiance, Bronage Pierce, the co founders of Pirani Life. You guys rock. Thank you very much. Again, I'll have all of our links up. So thank you. And thank you to my sister. Thank you. That was the coolest interview ever. Aww, <laughs> thank you. All right. Well, I love you guys. We'll talk right, soon. <laughs> Thanks for listening to today's talk with Erica. Join me next week for another discussion with the experts who help make life easier. Please visit my website, ericadelsordo.com, where you'll find all of my social media platforms and more. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Once again, thanks for listening.